हाई एवरी वन इट्स मी संचारी एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सिंपली संचारी होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर फ्यू मेकअप प्रोडक्ट्स विच आर अफोर्डेबल बट परफॉर्म्स हाई एंड सो यू कैन से आई एम गोइंग टू शो सम अफोर्डेबल ड्यूब्स फॉर हाई एंड मेकअप सो इफ यू गाइज आर इंटरेस्टेड एंड प्लीज टे ट्यून टिल द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो So first one is Urban Decay and the exact dupe for this is Elf Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. Now this gives you 16 hour of wear. It is fragrance free, very very light on the skin and gives you a natural finish. Now uh, on the other hand, Urban Decay All Nighter gives you more than 16 hour of long lasting makeup. So these both are exact dupe to each other. In many of my videos I did recommend these both. You cannot invest in Urban Decay all nighter i think you should invest in the elf one it is very affordable very pocket friendly and easily available on nika next one is anastasia beverly hills luminous foundation and for this i got an exact dupe which is nyx born to glow naturally radiant foundation in anastasia i am in the shade 355n and in nyx i am in the shade 15.9 warm honey now this particular foundation from nyx is not available anywhere in india i think they should get this because it's a such it's such a beautiful affordable variant of anastasia and i got this especially from UK from Cult Beauty's website now i don't know why i have stopped using this but this used to be one of my favorite foundation it gives you a skin like finish and both of these gives a medium to a buildable full coverage and perfect for dry and matured skin type it is very very long wearing lightweight does not contains any fragrance and looks flawless once you complete your entire makeup whatever product you lay on top of this foundation everything just glides on smoothly and i think i wore this particular foundation for 7 to 8 hours and it still looked very beautiful but i think it is not going to suit oily skin people because after certain hour it gets more oily Next I have a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I know you all must have guessed it right. It is Elf Halo Glow Liquid Filter. This is in the shade medium 5 and it gives you a beautiful radiance to your skin. You can use this in multiple ways and this has little bit of tint but it does not provide you tons of coverage. So I especially love to use this mixed with the foundation that way my skin looks uh, naturally radiant and it feels like like healthy glow so yes i definitely would love to invest in this because investing in charlotte tilbury makeup is quite a lot sometimes it can be hits and misses and because i have a dry matured skin so i don't know how exactly it is going to uh, work on my skin next one is milk makeup hydro grip primer for this i found the closest and affordable dupe which is elf power grip primer let me just take you through the milk hydro grip one because this is not available in india and i have the chotu version because this in itself the full size is too pricey you guys so uh, let me just squeeze out some of the product to show you how exactly it looks so this has a gel like consistency and you can see it is quite runny in texture and it has a slight greenish tint to it which does not add any tint to your skin now once i blend it out on my skin you can see it gives you a very glossy shine also it has a nice tackiness which is going to prolong the wear of your makeup unless and until you remove it and it blends effortlessly into your skin does not tug and pull your skin in any way so talking about the elf power grip primer it has a blue tint as you can see on the tube this too has a runny texture but it but the spreadability is little bit thick like you really have to blend it properly if you miss blending then there can be patches once you lay your foundation and the tackiness is just mind blowing you guys i have compared this with the mars glow o'clock primer you should watch that video the formulation is more or less similar 
नेक्स्ट वन इज स्मैश बॉक्स हेलो हेल्दी ऑल इन वन टिंटेड मॉइस्चराइजर आई एम इन द शेड टैन विच रन प्रिटी डीप ऑन माई स्किन टोन सो इफ यूर क्लोजेस्ट टू माई स्किन टोन यू कैन गो फॉर टू शेड्स लाइटर दिस इज इन द मिनी वर्जन इफ यू आर नॉट अ रेगुलर यूजर यू कैन ऑप्ट फॉर अ मिनी साइज एंड इट इज गोइंग टू लास्ट यू लॉन्ग एंड द क्लोजेस्ट ड्यूब विच आई थिंक वर्क फॉर मी इज रिमिल्स काइंड रिमिल काइंड एंड फ्री मॉइस्चराइजिंग स्किन टिंट बोथ ऑफ दीज हैज रन consistency but i would say smashbox one gives you a little more coverage than the rimmel one but both of these works fine for your everyday wear today i have used the rimmel one it has a sheer to light coverage you can totally build it up and wherever needed you can just spot conceal i am really loving the feel of this skin tint i nearly forgot how much i used to love this i got this specially from look fantastic which uh, when it was not even long launched in india but now it is easily available in each and every e-commerce app just grab it during sale time because it goes on great discount during that time and yes the coverage wise it is perfect for your everyday uh, the shade that i picked up for me is latte and it is my perfect skin tone Next is Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer and for this the dupe is Elf Poreless Putty Primer. Let me just talk you through Tatcha one. So this is how the product looks like. I have the mini size because the full size is extremely pricey you guys. The formulation of Tatcha Silk Canvas is very very silky. It blurs and evens out your skin tone and gives a smooth base for your next product to work on. It keeps your makeup flawlessly long. lasting now talking about the elf poreless putty primer this has the same tint as the um, tatcha one but the formulation is not as silky as the tatcha one so this is more like moisturizing primer i have seen many reviews on this and the people had mixed opinions but i feel that it just works fine on my dry skin it uh, adds a very nice blurring effect and also adds a little bit of moisturizing i don't know why i feel that but yes it did add something to my skin and also it kept my makeup long lasting i have finished this much still this much is left um i use it uh, very rarely but yes whenever i use it i have not faced any issues next is milani 2 in 1 foundation and a concealer i'm in the shade 09 tan and for this the exact dupe is pigment play 3 in 1 foundation and a concealer i'm in the shade 07 sand beige now sand beige is little bit light on my skin but once i complete my makeup everything just looks fine the formulation is exact dupe to each other is that it has a thicker consistency but spreads really well feels very very lightweight extremely long wearing both of these survives hot and humid climate it does not melt off whatsoever plus uh, both of these has medium to full coverage and gives you a soft matte finish i have a comparison video side by side if you want i can link it in the description also if you want i can link it here on the card section please don't forget to check it out Next is a Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpt Concealer. I'm in the shade Warm Sand. Easily available everywhere in India. And the closest dupe is Elf uh, Hydrating Camo Concealer. Now, why I feel these two are dupe? Because both of these has a similar uh, texture and consistency. They are quite hydrating. Both of these does not crease on me whenever I've used it. And the formulation feels very very lightweight. Blends easily. does not dry up quickly it gives you time to play and also it provides you full coverage so i feel if you don't want to spend a handsome amount of money on two face you can try the elf camo concealer elf always goes on buy one get one or flat 15 to 20% off during sale and i forgot to mention that i am in the shade medium beige in elf hydrating camo concealer next is huda beauty luminous matte foundation in this i am in the shade 350g dulce de leche which is pretty light on my skin so i think brown sugar would definitely go with my skin tone and for this the closest and affordable dupe is maybelline super stay foundation i don't have that foundation with me i have already disposed it off because i don't wear too much matte foundation uh, nowadays 
uh, only during special occasions I wear matte foundation that too during summers and I don't think I need to have three four matte foundation this one just works fine both of uh, Huda Beauty and Maybelline are close to each other in terms of formulation they have thicker consistency and the texture is quite you know thick and takes a lot of time to blend so for these thick foundation you really need a good dense brush because the sponge is not going to give you an easy blending both i'm talking about both maybelline and huda beauty one and little goes a long way with these foundation one pump is going to cover your entire face for the huda beauty one half a pump is enough to cover your entire face and uh, yes it just gives you a masky like face anyone can tell that you have a foolproof makeup so yes nowadays because i prefer skin tints and hydrating light coverage a lightweight foundation i do not use a uh, matte foundations a lot but both huda beauty and uh, maybelline are perfect for oily skin type because they make sure that your makeup is long lasting next is charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder and this is the powder that i have with me which is very small and cute it is a trial size you guys the shade that i have is three dark it also has a mirror and this is the powder and the closest dupe to this is NYX can't stop won't stop powder I have spoken about this powder quite a lot in all of my videos both of these gives you airbrush looks once you apply it on your face does not give you tons of coverage but evens out your skin blurs your imperfection as well as your pores it makes your makeup long lasting it is quite lightweight does not feel that you have a powder on for dry skin type also both of these powders just works fine in this i'm in the shade tan this is my absolute favorite i always try and keep a backup of this and the formulation wise i think they are more or less similar adds a very nice uh, soft matte kind of finish once you apply it to your face next is revlon super lustrous glass shine lipstick and now these lipsticks are not launched in india yet but i have seen many influencers approaching uh, instagram sellers and getting their favorite shade i did not do that because i did not want it to uh, pay extra uh, while getting these lipsticks in india so i'm waiting for nika to launch them and i found the closest dupe which is flower beauty perfect pout moisturizing lipstick i have two shades with me so this is blossom and this is blush rose i just posted a shorts video about both of these shades how exactly it looks on brown skin you guys need to watch that video i will put it in the end screen also i will try and link it in the description box please don't forget to check it out now the shine that you see is really beautiful it is very moisturizing very creamy and uh, it did cover my pigmented lips because these are nude shades it requires a lip liner which is deeper so browns and berry tones just works fine with these kind of lipstick these lipsticks are so soft mine is already melting you guys can you see the shape it's already tilted today i applied the shade blossom on the center of my lips and it just looks beautiful you guys coming to the last part of the video i have charlotte tilbury beautiful skin foundation now because i don't have the actual product with me so i thought i'll share the image i did try this foundation in the store but i did not like it at all the uh, the you know the foundation is really tricky to work with you really have to get your base right with this foundation this is again a skin tint kind of situation that goes on but i but i really do not want to spend 4000 into something which i am not going to like it and plus i really have to break my head to make this foundation works but the closest dupe which i think works with this foundation is max factor miracle pure foundation i have the shade soft toffee with me this too has a thicker consistency but this is really beautiful in its own way now the shade soft toffee looks a little bit light on my hand but just look at the magic once i blend it out 
it just meshes with my skin and melts into my skin making my skin tone even uh, adding that good healthy looking radiance and it is perfect for your everyday wear it does not make my skin too oily if you want to uh, you know subtract the oil secretion then you can use a good uh, silicone based primer but still it adds a very healthy looking radiance to your skin and with that part i would say even the lamel smart skin tinted foundation is perfect as a skin tint this too has a thicker consistency but it is really easy to work with both of these are really really lightweight and perfect for someone who wants something for their everyday use all right you guys so it's a wrap for today hope you found the content helpful and informative if you did please take a moment to like share subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the bell button you can also follow me on my social media handles whose link i have mentioned it in the description box please come and say hi and i will see you soon with my next one till then bye bye take care